I was I was asking her, being that she's so woke and so uh, like, how is it dating a white dude? Am I woke? Yeah, you woke. This is the thing. I don't know woke. One, I didn't know black people could be woke. I thought this was first something all, that white. Let me say this. That's probably the first time I've ever used the word woke in a sentence. <laughs> and it did. It, it, it felt it, like you didn't. It, you didn't want it. <laughs> It felt like you didn't want it. You can feel um, it, right? I've yeah. never used the word woke in a sentence. Uh, you mm-hmm. ready? Dante so- completely <laughs> chucked that shit out the window. <laughs> this nigga gave up. Hey, hey, wait. Flag on play. Shorty, I don't know nothing. Okay? <laughs> um, I, I think oh. there's... Well, black woke and white woke is different. I can say that mm. I have dated a couple, uh, a few white dudes. Um... What were you trying to ask me about him? Was, like, just I'm saying, but you are not woke or not. But I mean, look, you you lived a black. You know what it is to be black. Yeah, and, I grew up in Atlanta. I couldn't right. help it. <laughs> and 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 you and, and in your skin. So that's yeah. a whole other thing. It don't even got to be Atlanta. But so so at times when I've dated white girls, right? Troublesome. I well. <laughs> It's there's always a blind spot. No matter okay, was how it, was it awkward when they asked you to <laughs> feel your pubic hair? They're like, "Can I touch it? Can I just touch it? it? What's that holy? like?" What's that, that when like? she said my my pubic hair feels like hamburger meat, then I was like, uh, "This might not work out." I don't know. Okay, everyone has curly pubic hair. I think we have to all. Yeah, yeah, but they don't know curly. that. That's I what I'm saying. I think pubic hair is just how pubic hair works. Like I think it just curls. I don't. It's no, that's, that's actually not, not true. That's not true. It might be straight. Now, when you got a delicious Asian with that slick, anyway. <laughs> that oh, slick. Okay, that was theirs. Is probably their hair is bone fucking straight. Um, <laughs> I would say it depended on how that dude grew up. Yeah, but because but, but even when they've grown up in a certain way, you know, you know what I'm saying. There's always that blind spot. I mean, there's always blind spots with everything. Like, I grow up completely exposed to white culture because I live in America, but I don't know the names of all the bands they be talking about. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. It's too I, many I just, bands. It's too many just, bands. Listen, I just yeah, learned. I just bands. learned that song. Bands. Free. I just learned the name of Freebird. I don't. I I knew the song and Freebird, but I never knew that they went together. You thought I, the band was, was Freebird for a while, right? <laughs> Dante for like oh, thirty years. Oh, you've never years. been anywhere where somebody's been yelling, "Play Freebird." Yeah. yeah, but I. But you know what I'm saying. I'm. I I mean, it's you. become a cliche like it, it, the saying someone yelling free bird now it's ironic is now ironic do it ironically you think about okay. it there's so many times that you've heard somebody say or somebody's like play free bird and you're like i've never heard like i don't think i've heard the song but maybe one time but right. um it just depends like if you're messing with like what i like to call a tyler uh which is just a male <laughs> crystal um, <laughs> what? you we all know what a crystal is. Uh, like so, ditzy? huh? Like ditzy or something? No, a crystal is a white girl who's only dated black dudes. She keeps an asymmetrical haircut. Mm. Uh, she has too many rings on. A, she smokes that's, pre, that's pre Karen. Yeah, this that's is pre Karen. Right, this is your white girl who's always going to come bail you out of jail. She's a little thicker because she's too big for regular white dudes. White but dudes. if she's in the south, she can still pull white dudes. The yeah. southern white boys like a, a sturdy woman. Mm-hmm. So this is your white girl who's always dated black dudes, always down for black dudes. Um, but she she usually knows what she's been in enough conversations where mm. she knows where the line is. Okay. Right? Like she's gonna, you know, she's not gonna go too hard. She gets it, she's got mixed kids, so she's trying to be about it. Right, um, right, right. Her baby daddy ain't shit, but she don't talk about it all the time. Um, and, she, and she don't turn Travel, your father, you gotta love your father, Travel. She's doing one of those. <laughs> um she never she knows she can't use the N-word, but she's been around for so long where if she did, you'd be like, I mean uh, it doesn't have that one. sting to it. It doesn't have the sting. The yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna give her one because you know, she does have three kids. I'm you gonna give even, her one. You even you even look at it like let me. What was the context? You what know was what the mean? context? <laughs> right. So your Tyler's are the, the cool male white version. Dude. Yeah. Right. Always has a fade. He loves the tall T. Plays ball. Plays ball. <laughs> um. Always has a fade, but bone straight hair. Sometimes might be curly. Mm. Um. He's a white boy that wears cornrows, and you're like, ah, all right, sure. <laughs> I don't want to. This is not a fight I want to have. Right. Um. He might sell weed. You're not sure. But he always has weed. Um, 
But it's the same kind, and he always dates this sound, black this women. This sounds but- like Dulce's pitching a kid show that's based out of Atlanta, <laughs> like yeah. all the characters on like Atlanta Sesame Street. <laughs> this is, this, but these are the, but, so there's those white people where it's just like you've been around black people long enough, you get you. We've been like, okay, you know you can't say nigga. We know you can't say nigga, but if you said it one time, you might not catch your ass whooping, right? In context, like we, the context. What was the context? Like right. you, if you said it arguing, you need to ask flip it. Right, but if right, you're like, oh, but you ain't gonna do like? that. He ain't gonna do that anyway. He also, because he knows if he, better. If he says right. it about another white guy and it throws you off, you're like, you're like damn. This, you're like, oh. that's a tricky one. That's a tricky that's one. A tricky one, right? See that? And then see, the, see the eye she gave. That's as long as he brings that eye, like. Mm. Uh, right, and then there's these other, and then there's what I really appreciate is just it's still, but it's still a culture vulture situation. Like you're still trying to assimilate into us right now it's either you that, grew up or, would you, now, would you it, think that or do you think that maybe you were the thing that he was chasing that's what i'm saying it depends on a dude right, because right. if you're if you're a white dude that just grew up in a black area this is what everybody's doing right, right. if you're trying to be this and you grew up in the suburbs and didn't have any black friends that's, that's yeah, a fake so ass weird. situation yeah, so yeah, you yeah. just date so a lot of times your crystals and your tylers will date black people to get closer to blackness, which mm-hmm. I don't appreciate. Um, if you grew up around us, and you just grew up around us. And yeah. then there's just the white dude where it's just like, I'm a fucking khaki pants wearing white dude, and mm-hmm. you're pretty, I'm going to date you, you just happen to be black. So mm-hmm. the ones that I usually talk to are the ones that are just like, because I used to mess with some dude who was a fucking surfer in LA, like just a regular mm-hmm. ass dude. Mm. So you're just out here being your regular white self. And you just like, want to talk to me. Like, yeah, whoa. I mean, it, was, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Um, but whoa. I think I kind of, because sometimes those white dudes that are just like them Tylers, they get too close to blackness and they feel like you should automatically accept them into it. And I'm just like, hey, man, I'm not. I don't know who your sponsor is. I don't know who lets you. <laughs> I don't know who's letting you do all of this. You gotta have three. I, for I, you. Gotta, I don't know none of your recommendations. I don't know none of your three. recommendations. I don't know I who know, brought you like, into this fraternity. It's <laughs> got to be difficult because you don't let that go because you're always on guard. I remember I was dating uh, a black girl who, even though she knew I wasn't white, she still thought I was. She would keep asking the me same like, way "I feel. I don't trust yeah. you, nigga." Oh my god, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Don. Ah. Andre. You man score 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.